Part 2. Listen to a man talking to a group of people at a weekend work conference in a hotel. First, look at questions 11 to 14. Listen carefully. OK, can everyone listen again now, please? Now you know how much of the weekend will be work and what some of the meetings and sessions are about, I'd like to tell you something about how you can spend some of the free time you have over the weekend, both inside the hotel and outside in the town centre. As I've said, you'll be free from around 5 today and on Saturday and from lunchtime on Sunday and there's plenty to do. This is the first time we've had the conference at the Royal Spa Hotel, and I'm sure you'll agree it's a very nice place. Really, there's no need to leave the hotel at all if you don't want to, but I'm sure some of you will want to get out for a change of environment. OK, first, restaurants and bars. I'm sure you all saw that there was a bar near the entrance as you came into the hotel, but there are actually two more bars. One is also on the ground floor, behind the main restaurant, and the other is on the top floor. That one has a very nice terrace where you can sit outside and enjoy the view. That bar is for hotel guests only and is usually a bit quieter. As I say, the main restaurant is on the ground floor. We will have breakfast and lunch there, so you'll get to know it well. There is also a smaller restaurant for coffee, sandwiches and snacks on the third floor, and that is also only for hotel guests. There is a gym and health club in the basement. The gym has a good range of equipment and is open from 7am. I know some of you were talking about a swimming pool, but unfortunately there is no swimming pool. I will tell you where there is a pool close to the hotel in a moment. Before the broadcast continues, Look at questions 15 to 20. You will now listen to the second part of the talk. Now, I hope to see some of you around the hotel over the weekend, but I'm sure you will want to get out and see the town at some point. If you'd like to look at the map on the screen, I'll show the area around the hotel. There is a map of the town centre in your welcome pack too. OK, you can see the hotel here, in the middle of the map, and the main entrance here at the top, in Carlisle Street. OK. That swimming pool I promised to tell you about is here, in Cromwell Road. If you turn right out of the hotel, it's about 10 minutes up the road in the third street on the left. It's open until 7pm and until 5 on Sunday. There's a very nice park here to the north, again about 10 minutes away. In the middle of the park is a boating lake, so if the weather's good on Sunday, it might be a nice way to relax. If you want to see a movie this evening or on Saturday night, the cinema is here, in the High Street. Come out of the hotel and turn left. The High Street is only three minutes away. The cinema is here at the top of the street, next to a fairly large car park. Now, restaurants. There is a good Chinese restaurant in the middle of the High Street, here on the right. It's directly opposite the Town Hall. It's called the White Orchid. Another very nice restaurant is Leonardo's. It does Spanish and Mexican food. It's here, at the bottom of the high street. So, turn left at the end of Carlisle Street, walk down for five minutes, and you'll see it on the other side of the road. I went to Leonardo's last time I was here, so I can recommend it. 
Now, if anyone wants to see some live music, there is always a jazz band playing at the Pink Coconut. Yeah, that's right, the Pink Coconut. That's here, in a little street behind the hotel. The street name is not on the map, but it's easy to find. Turn right out of the main entrance, and then take the first right to go back round to the back of the hotel. So, I think that's everything. Please ask me if you have anything else. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.